Okay guys, so we're going to start off this haul with a couple more action cameras. Got the SJ Cam SJ7 Star, and I got here something from DB Power. It's called the 620C. There's so many action cams out there. Uh, I, I did offer these a lot, and I decided uh, to go ahead and take a look at a few of these 4K ones. There's some of them that do 25 frames per second, and this one does 30 frames per second. I've got the, these two, I've got the Fox Ear Box, and I've got a few more of the coming. Um, I'm going to put a little card here in the corner to a poll. Let me know if you guys are interested in these kind of reviews or not. I, I'm kind of interested in these kind of reviews, but I'm curious to see if any, anyone out there really cares or not, because there's so many of these. Uh, but some of these are interesting, so I'm not going to unbox these in the haul. I'm going to I'm going to unbox them in the individual reviews. They're just uh, I'm kind of unwieldy, and then there's a bunch of stuff inside here, a lot of accessories. But I'll just give you a quick look at some of the specs here. I think this, this SJ Cam SJ7 here is probably going to be one of the better ones. I also have the uh, what the, I think it's the Hawkeye. Uh, Firefly 8S also coming, which is very similar to this one. And then, uh, uh, as you know from the last haul, I had the Ekin V8S. I'm taking a look at that, which is similar to this one, which is 4K at 25 frames per second. Um, this is a more generic camera. And here's some of the specs for this 1080p, 4K, uh, 2 inch touch, I don't know if that's touchscreen or not, waterproof, etc., etc. They're all kind of similar looking GoPro style, you know, action camera knockoffs. And now I got some new uh, gem fan motors that came in. These are the 1105 7500 KVs. And here's a quick look at them. Probably going to put this on something that already exists, not an not a actual build. This uh, looks like a nice motor. It's got four spokes there. Uh, pretty typical for these 110X size. They, this ratcheting is pretty strong on here. I think we have a yeah, one and a half millimeter shaft. Standard size prop mounting. Uh, nothing weird going on here. But yeah, look for a future video on this where I'll put this into a build like I did with the uh, Ghoul RC motors, and then we'll just get some flight footage, and you can you guys can see how these perform. Um, I have some good. Uh, uh, expectations for this one. I think it'll be pretty good. Okay, so some of these um, Gemfan Hulky 2043 blade props came in. So they come in a bag with uh, two sets of four, uh, left-handed and right-handed, of course. But here's a little look at them. Standard uh, prop mounts for the 11 O size motors, and they're tapered. Um, hmm. Not sure what the durability is going to be like. It does seem fairly stiff. You know, the my favorite prop right now is the Gem Fan 2035. So this is a little bit higher pitched, a little bit thicker paddle on the blade, but it's only three bladed. So not sure if it's going to draw less amps or not, if it's going to be more efficient. But it looks like an efficient prop. So I will have a video uh, in the future with something with these going, and we'll see how they do compared to the king of the props, the two inch props, the uh, 2035s. Okay, so we got a new five inch frame kit here from Nadisi. Uh, it's called the XF5. It's a five inch frame, 218 millimeters. Detachable arm design. Let's just take a quick look at it. So all of the pieces look pretty nice. Uh, obviously it's a sandwich design because you got detachable arms. This is your main plate here, and you got your top plate. Got some pretty nice looking standoffs here. Here's your bag of screws and nuts. So it looks like I think some of these nuts here go into this retaining plate so that there's no actual bolt that's sticking out of the top. You can see these holes here. A little bit bigger. There are no instructions here, but I think that's what that's going on, what's going on there. I'll, I'll figure it out in the review. 
And then these arms are pretty nice. They, I think they, I think they're four millimeters, and the edges are beveled or chamfered. You can just kind of see it's got a nice cut there, and a little bit of carbon dust. That little look has been washed, but it looks like a nice design. A good hole, a good hole pattern here for your 220 size motors. Then you get a XD60 connector on top of all that. Anyway, I'll have a video, a separate video here reviewing this. I'll build this frame out and we'll take a look, a little closer look at it in that review. Okay, we got another um, flight controller ESD combo from HGLRC. It's the XJB428 and it has a little TX20 here. This is actually uh, three boards, I believe, and it has a, uh, a video transmitter as well. So we got a little instruction sheet here. This is for the video transmitter. You got a little whip antenna with a micro FL connector. So here are the two main boards. You got the F4 flight controller, uh, has an OSD, and you got your 4 in 1 EC. This is supposedly 28 amps, I believe. So it's similar to the F425 uh, with the 25 amp 4 in 1 EC. This one comes with a video transmitter and the third plate, third board, and uh, the micro FL antenna connects there. You got a little button there. Uh, might, might need to do some soldering, it looks like. You got some connections here for your power and video out. And it looks like it takes 7 to 24 volts. So yeah, I'm going to have an actual separate video. Look at this in a little more detail. And then uh, you, obviously you get your your standoffs, uh, little screws and nuts and stuff. Little nylon screws and nuts. Okay, so we got another uh, video transmitter. Here's a full-size video transmitter. It's power switchable. I think it goes uh, 0 to up to 600 milliwatts. And this one uh, from EWRF. This one will uh, let you use the, I think it's the smart audio protocol to uh, make your uh, power changes and bands and channel changes via your uh, Betaflight OSD. And so there's a, it's not labeled on this side, but on this side here, you can see you got your uh, 5 volts out, your ground, your video in, audio in, and then you have your PWM OSD in, ground and power, and that's all corresponding to this connector that's included, and you got a little JST for your power input. But yeah, I'll have a uh, review on this one too. Uh, I'll actually have a, the miniature one too, that the one that I think is for micro-sized ones with the whip antenna already installed in there. That one requires some soldering. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to hook this up to um, one of the flight controllers with an OSD, with the Betaflight OSD actually, and then we'll see how this actually operates, and I'll show that in the review. Okay, so we got a bigger box here. This is the Bugs 2 uh, this is from Gearbest. It's a little GPS drone. I don't think it records on board. And it comes with a transmitter. Let's see here on the side somewhere. It comes with a transmitter that looks like this. And that's just for control. I think the video comes back via Wi Fi. And I think here's 5 gigahertz Wi Fi for 1080p video. And then the uh, control is 2.4 gigahertz. Brushless motors. I'm not sure what the range is going to be like on this. Here's some of the features. Obviously, it's got GPS, one key return. Uh, it's got altitude hold and lost contact automatic return in case of uh, fail safe. Okay, so I pulled it out of the box, and like a lot of the other Bugs products, the transmitter is on the bottom. And you got some props here. I think they were like uh, maybe 8 inch props. And the transmitter pop <laughs> dropped out of the bottom. Okay, so those uh, props on the bottom were spares. You got some props already installed, and you got the old thumb screws like on the other Bugs. Models. It looks like there's an SD card slot there, so maybe it does record on board. Uh, battery is inside. I'm not sure what the plastic bag is all about. 
new gimbal. Looks like the uh, camera is fixed. But it's brushless, obviously. You got some nice brushless motors there. What else we got here? We got some. Got a phone holder. Got some tools. And you got your LiPo charger. Pretty basic. It looks like it uh, uses the phone Wi-Fi to get the video back. And maybe it does actually it does record on board as well. So we'll check that out in the review. Okay, so we got another RC like off-road buggy here. It's called the Leopard King Number no. One. And this one uses a not a standard controller. This is more like a quadcopter controller. Uh, sticks forward, back, right, left. It's pretty big. It's a pretty big box. I think this one, when it flips over, I, I guess they can flip over and go either upside down or right side up. Kind of unusual. This is for the size, pretty inexpensive. I remember it was under, well under a hundred dollars. So yeah, this thing's pretty big, and it just <laughs> you can see here it. It actually fills up the whole box like so. Pretty crazy. Yeah, so pretty much fits the entire box there. You can see there's the box. And that's the car. And here's my hand here. It's pretty large. Uh, I would say it's probably uh, one and a half feet. Maybe about 18 to 20 inches by about 12 inches. And supposedly you can go either direction. Let's see if we flip it over, you can see it looks like a car on both sides. So it's supposed to, it's supposed to be able to twist here. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. I'll figure that out later. But let's see what else we got inside. This box is probably the transmitter. Yeah, so yeah, inside the box you got the transmitter. Pretty small USB charger that goes, has this little proprietary connector. It goes to this battery here. It looks like these are like, double A nickel metal hydride batteries. Uh, we got eight of these, it would seem. Looks like you get just one pack and then you get some instructions. Anyway, I'll have a review in this pretty soon, so stay tuned. Okay, so I got another action camera in, and this is from uh, Hawkeye. It's the Firefly 8S 4K 30 frames per second super view camera and uh, he's probably if you guys are on my channel for a while you know that I, I reviewed the Hawkeye Firefly 7S so this is the um, updated version or the the newer version and I think it's got video stabilization on 4k at 30 frames per second. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, it's got the umbrella A12 S75 same one that's on the SJ7 and also on the Fox here so this is like the one that uh, all the 4K cameras have now, and it's got the IMX117 Sony sensor, same one that's also also on the, the GoPro, the Fox here, the SJ Cam. So this is the one that all the action cameras are using. Here are all the resolutions. Pretty standard stuff here. It's got the GoPro Hero uh, form factor. I'm not going to open it up on this video here, but I'll have the unboxing in the Firefly 8S video. Uh, Hawk, I did send a couple of extra accessories here. You got the remote control. It's a little Bluetooth remote for starting and stopping your video, taking photos if you have like a selfie stick. So that's kind of nice. And we also have an external mic here that connects to the mini USB port. So if you want to use this for vlogging, for example, you just connect this to um, the camera and then put the mic on your shirt. Just a little bit like a little, well, there's a little pin here that I'll uh, you can hook it up to your shirt and then perhaps you use it for vlogging or interviews or something like that, so it's kind of nice. Uh, we'll be uh, testing that out when I do the review for this, so stay tuned for that.